Hello, hello. I am Lisa. I'm Chris. And this is episode 69 of the Three of Skeins Knitting and Crochet podcast. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm exhausted. Oh, <laughs> Crystal has a tale to tell. Look, are we trying to get yarn or we have like a craft room space, but it's in a shambles. So we're trying to get everything organized and get all our yarn in the space where we can see it because a lot of the yarn was like in this little closet. And I decided to like clear out the closet, put some other stuff that we're not using as often in the closet and bring the yarn out. So I dragged all the yarn out. I put some shelving in the closet. I put all the stuff in the closet and then realized one of the shelves in there was just like this flimsy, awful thing that I purchased from Amazon years ago. And it wasn't really sturdy enough to hold everything I wanted to put on it. So I found the shelf in the garage. The garage has been a treasure trove lately. <laughs> it has been. And the garage has been good to us. I dragged that upstairs and had to take everything off the shelf that was in the closet. Take that shelf out. Put the new shelf in. Take the old shelf apart so I could stuff it all in a garbage bag. And then put all the stuff back in the closet on the new shelf. And that's tired. And there's still yarn like all Everywhere. over this room. Everywhere you can't see. There's something. <laughs> so it's a process though. It's so, a process. I need to set a spell. So but the closet looks great. <laughs> <laughs> like the one area of sanity yes. in this room. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, I think all of us can understand that craft rooms can get a little out of control. And if you're lucky enough to have a craft room, which I am like Okay, if it's messy, well, that's life sometimes. <laughs> but in the spirit of getting organized, one of the things that I did last week was get my, I haven't made myself socks in ages, and I've really just been hankering to make some socks. So I decided to go through my stash of sock yarn and organize it so that when I'm ready to go, after I've got at least one of my two projects off the needles. Good, Lisa. Do I get the pat on the back? No? Okay. We'll see what actually happens. Because oh. I feel like you're going to start from <laughs> socks. <laughs> so what I did was I pulled my sock yarns into little baggies, pairs. And if I'm going to do contrasting toes and heels, I put that heel and toe yarn in there so that everything will be ready to go. So I've got some ancient regia. This is Patton's Croy. <clears throat> Do they still sell her? Yeah, but I don't see it at Joann's anymore or Michael's. I haven't so seen it there. It? No idea. No idea. And I paired this with this deep blue just to bring out the blues in it. It's just going to be a lot of fun. And Crystal suggested, and I think I'm going to do this, that when I'm ready to make a pair of socks, that I just reach in the bag and pull something. And that appealed so much to my little chaos angel in my heart that I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to do just that. So I've got this pink and I'm contrasting this deep maroon, which is actually called Red Woman. And I got it just recently at um, the Yarn Shop at Alma Park. The Yarn Shop at Alma Park. She had done a little series of Game of Thrones themed yarn. So I was really excited to find that. This one actually is not Game of Thrones themed, but I think it's lovely. These two I'm pairing up together just because I think it'll be fun. Are those different yarns? Oh, yeah, totally. You just make two completely different socks. No, pair. I'm going to use do different parts of the body of the sock in different yarn. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So part of the yarn will be stripey, part of the yarn will be, be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could not... I'm not confused. I couldn't even let you see me doing that, okay? <laughs> I know exactly where we're at with that. I was like, if I see you, This is um, Valerian Steel, also from the Yarn Shop at Alma Park, and I am pairing it with this mostly green Patton's Croy effects so but that's basically the gist of what i'm up to uh, i like this combination a lot this is a uh, patent's croy in like a red and medium gray and i have some beigey gray yarn 
that I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> but I'm going to pair that with. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But that's what I've been up to so far, just getting the start of my yarn organized. Next week, it's going to be my turn, now that my yarn is all out of the closet, to sort it and decide on and an organizing scheme and shelve it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it by weight so that when I want worsted, I can just go to the worsted area and pick that up and, and so on. But that's where we're at on organizing the, the organizing the craft room project right now. We're in the middle, so chaos. So yesterday I decided I would like pause all organizing stuff just to get some work done on my skirt. And that was the thing to do because I actually made some progress. Because last time I just showed y'all a blog. <laughs> but now there's there's more. So now half of the skirt is actually finished. Oh, nice. It's really wrinkled. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to lock this back away. Something's happening. Okay. Yeah. So this is my little A-line. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. She's cute. Mm -hmm. And I started the second piece. So this I'm working bottom up. So that will be the second half of the skirt. I'm going to put elastic in the waistband. So... See this part here that is straight, that's going to get folded in half, and it's just going to get a one-inch elastic. That makes so much sense. <sighs> we'll see how that goes. I've done this, like, once before, like, years ago, and I didn't like it, so I haven't done it since. <laughs> so, but I, I think this is how I'm going to do skirts. Just It'll just make life so much simpler. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I have to give up this idea I have of not, sewing in my crochet if I really want to make like clothes clothes. I'm glad you can't do that on your own. Hush <laughs> up. <laughs> um, and again, this yarn is Andorra. <clears throat> it's from Kelborn Woolens and it's Peruvian Highland Wool, Merino, and Mohair. And last night, mommy was messing with me and was like, so you can make a little matching jacket? And I was like, whatever, mom. And of course, when I was going to bed, all I could think of was like, and that's so great. make a make a jacket. Totally make a jacket. So there may be a jacket. I don't know yet. But I what a lot of the vintage patterns I have, there are a lot of suits, there are a lot of crochet suits. Mm -hmm. And that appeals to me so much. So I've been thinking about a crochet suit. I wasn't thinking to do it like with this yarn, like right now. But once you have the skirt made, right? So we'll see. This this could end up being a little two-piece set, but don't hold me to that. But if it is a two-piece set, it's all mommy's fault. <laughs> that's right. We'll blame her. <laughs> they always blame the mother. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that, that's my sole whip. Uh, I have two whips going, but in all honesty, I have done very little work on both of them. I think I got a couple of rows in. It's been a busy week. I got a couple of rows in on my sweater. This is the weekender sweater. I'm doing it as part of the hashtag... Lucy Goosey Cal 2023. Oh, so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are working on your Cal projects, let us know. Tell us in the, in the description box and in, let's in see some comments. pictures. Yes, in the comments. Mm -hmm. I'm tired too. Or on Instagram. Or on Instagram. That'll work. It's a little bit longer than it was, but that's all. <laughs> but this is very, very, very simple knitting. And I think I did a row on my shawl. I've just been busy with other things. So I'm trying to get back to my knitting. I'll probably get some in over the weekend. Uh, we have to talk about a recent trip to Joanne. But before that, there have been requests for information about some stuff I wore in the last couple of episodes. Mm -hmm. I didn't mention anything about this because I just figured most people were familiar with it now. I've worn it a few times. But this is called the Slutty Cardigan. <laughs> because this orange yarn up here is from Less Traveled Yarns mm -hmm. and the colorway is called Slutty Pumpkin and I was just so tickled by that. So when I made my cardigan out of it, I called it the Slutty Cardigan. Um, and then the black yarn is wool-like from Michael, which is not at all like wool, but it worked <laughs> out just fine. Um, Ain't that a fact. It's an acrylic and nylon. And this is just all squares, well, rectangles. 
and mm -hmm. just slapped together. Did a little edging. How many skeins of that slutty pumpkin did you have? I had four skeins altogether, 400 grams grains, and I have maybe 50 grams left total. Because wow. I was telling people in the comments that you ended up adding in that black yarn because you wanted to stretch your slutty yeah, pumpkin. Yeah, I wanted a long cardigan, and I knew what I had wasn't enough for that, so... That is that. And then this I didn't talk about because I hate it, but I was cold that day, so I put it on. <laughs> what do you hate it? This is just like one of my early attempts at garments, mm -hmm. and I was bad at it, and the yarn is horrendous. But this is called the Rio de Janeiro hoodie. It is from the book uh, Urban Urban Edge, Urban Edge mm -hmm. by Shannon Mullet Bolsby. And adding these little color stripes was my innovation. That's not from the original pattern. But this yarn is just real, like, weird and loosey-goosey, loosey and it's like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so um, I, this is one of the things, I have some things that I've made, you know, long ago that I would like to remake um, much nicer. And now that I just know a little bit more about construction, mm -hmm. I just want to, like, do it better. So this is on the, the remake list, which is the only reason I still have it. Otherwise, I'd have let it go, because... <laughs> but yeah, so for those who ask it, don't ask me what yarn this was. It's not from the craft store. It could be um, Karen Simply Soft because I yeah, had a real moment with that you yarn. You used to love Karen Simply Soft. Yeah. yeah. But but you know what? I think that's the problem with Karen Simply Soft. It's too soft. It doesn't have enough body to hold it soft. It depends together. on what stitch you use, though, because I did <clears> make a jacket with it that had a more textured stitch, and that one holds together a lot better. Mm. Um, but this has back loop only stitches. So. so yeah. yeah, it faints. But let's talk about Joanne for a minute. So I went to Joanne to get some elastic for my skirt. And I don't, for the most part, I don't even look at their yarn because I just realized they just don't have anything for me. Well, I was not expecting to find what I found. Which, now, I've seen this brand there before. Um, it's called KC, which stands for Knit and Crochet. And this is what I got. The colorway is called Tutti Frutti which is really cute. And it's got glitters in it. Look at the sparkle. Oh, yeah. Um, now, it says, right there, it says hand dye. But I just figured out why it says hand dye, because it's not hand dye. Um, this is what they call this yarn. That's the, oh, okay. Yes, this, the style, <laughs> the, the product itself is yeah, called hand, hand dye. dye. Okay. Um, but why did I buy it? Because this is 100% cotton, 100% fingering weight cotton. They also had a um, sock yarn. They had a merino and nylon sock yarn. Um, a limited selection of colors. I don't know if I just came upon it late and maybe they had more colors previously, mm -hmm. um, but they didn't have that many colors. But the colors they did have were nice. They were mostly like spring colors, though, so they were like light and pastel, mm -hmm. um, but they were quite nice and full price. This yarn was only ten dollars. The merino was, I think, fourteen. Yeah. But it was on sale for thirty percent off. So I paid seven dollars for a hundred grams of a hundred percent cotton. What? Nice. Well, actually, know. it's ninety-four percent cotton and six percent lurex. So you know, because it, it has the sparkles. The ones yeah. without the sparkles were a hundred percent cotton. Um, but we need to talk. Because this is not typically what you find in the craft stores. And Joanne is trying a thing. And we all need to support that thing. So get some of this stuff. I need you all to go to <laughs> Joanne and buy just one skein. Just If that's all you got in you, just buy one skein. Make a shawl. You'll love it. But we have to show Joanne that we want more of it. But look. I'm not saying the other stuff needs to go away. The, the acrylic, the baby yarn, the, the worsted weight, the chunky stuff, all of that can stay. But let us have some options. First of all, finding lightweight yarns, finding premium weight yarns at the craft store is nigh on impossible. Because they're not even really carrying sock yarns anymore. I haven't seen them. No. And secondly, the price is right. So if, you know, if yarn stores are, are stretch for you, you want to have more options at your local craft store. But the only way we have to tell them that, yes, we want to see this on the shelves is if we purchase it. I didn't realize it was 30% off. Had I? I'd probably really? 
more. I found that at the register. If I had known, I would have gotten some because I didn't. I would have gotten some of the merino. Yeah, I'm still. I've been thinking about the merino's been mm -hmm. rent free in my head, y'all. But <laughs> but yeah. So check it out. Give it a try. Swatch with it. Play around. Think about it. So again, it's called KC Knit and Crochet. Um. But what I saw was, was nice. I was happy with it. And natural fibers. Hello. Mm -hmm. At the craft store. Thank you. So I, I need y'all to be about it. So check out your local Joann's and see if they have them. Now like, we need to go to Michael's. <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's <laughs> see if they Because, are. you know, they like to compete with Yes. Each other. <laughs> and it's not going to be in the aisle, at least at ours. It was on it was an end cap. That's, that's what you're looking for. Because she's right. You got to let them know. Because I have seen this brand before, um, the Ink Crochet, in their clearance section. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't, well, I kind of do want this to end up there just so I can get it cheaper. But I don't really want it to end up there because I want this to be something they restock. So we're going to have to do our part, people. And if you're not into sparkles, they also had yes. a version of I, I'm sparkles. into sparkles. As am I. So I was really, really excited. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. This is a hundred grams, four hundred and thirty-seven yards. Just basic, like your basic, mm -hmm. you know, hank of yarn. So you got like eight hundred and sixty yards there, really. And if you <clears> have, you know, one of them, even if it had been ten dollars, you know, you use a forty percent off coupon or whatever. You can work that out. You really can. I mean. You get a sweater going any of this mm -hmm. for like a really good price. Hello. And summer is coming. So, yeah. Check that out. Also, in yarn news, Universal is having a sale. Universal got them on lock. Her and my mother, you know, every time they see a sale, that means a big old box is coming. You know what? Universal's prices are very good to begin with. So yeah. when they have a sale, it's like ding, 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 ding. I got to ring my bell, blow my whistle, and do a little dance. So, yes, I, Mom and I have some stuff coming. Yeah. We do. But I have held fast to my, my choice to not purchase yarn online. I'm only buying yarn when I go to a store. Or maybe an event. Yes. yes, went to too many yarn stores this month, but Lisa was ordering, and I saw that they have this yarn called Wacky Sacky that I really like. It is a sock yarn, um, but it's a, it's a cute variegated sock yarn, and I was like, yeah, give me a Wacky Sacky, and then I told her to take it out the cart because I'm trying to like follow the rules that I've set for myself because February was a very spendy month. Mm. I don't know how that happened. But I know how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> I don't want to lie. I know how it happened. But yeah, so we're going to have to do a lot better in March. So for me, that was like the beginning of that. No buying yarn online. Because I, I was like, I can't fall in February. <laughs> like it's too soon. <laughs> you want to make at least six months, right? Right. Okay. You were saying. I wanted to show you guys this last week, but I, I didn't know what I'd done with it. I got something else while we're at the yarn shop at Alma Park. This is called it's it's cording, it's cords from something called the Knitting Barber. It's a little company. And I'm a lifeline user. And these, oh, there's three of them. Okay. Oh gosh, it's four. That's nice. These are little cords that you can place into your work to hold stitches. So if you're putting in a lifeline, if you have to take out stitches for sleeves or what have you. You just tip it, stick it onto the end of your needle and it will fit up to a US 8. And then you slide the stitches off the needle onto the cord. And I like this because the cord has some body to it and it's not going to be as flippy and floppy to get things on and off as... I know Crystal's looking at me like, it just, what is this lifeline so of which you stop. speak? No, I've seen you use lifelines. So I get that part, but... I just, knitting oh, seems so. to require a lot of stuff. And I like this. So you get a 47 inch length 47. and a 60 inch length. That's a weird number. <laughs> it's odd. That's all. And prime. 
Only you know that. <laughs> I, I did not know. Like, pourquoi? Oh, no, no. I was wrong. It's 30 and 60. Is that better? Yes, lots better. Okay. I was like, that made no sense at all. <laughs> but this, you can put a whole sweater on. And these will be great for sleeves. And I like this nice bright color. They had a whole selection of colors. So do check them out. I can't wait to try them out. I have a sweater on my needles now that I will need to put sleeves away. Comes and, in a little tin. Yeah, and that's the comes label. in a handy dandy storage tin. The, the Knitting Barber is called? Yeah, that's the name of the company. So. Knitting seems to require a lot of stuff. I was tripping when I found out about cable needles. I was like, what? I need needles for cables? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she really wasn't tripping. I was just like, that's a weird thing. I knew this wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's precisely where I got it. I was like, mm -mm, that, no. That's not for me. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I can do everything I need to do with this one hook right here. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. So... Don't forget, we still have a 500 subscriber giveaway. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Shall we? Um, Are we doing it now? Shall we show them what they're going to get? Because I brought oh. the things over. Oh, I didn't know. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, did I knock it? No, that. Oh, no. Our internet connection is acting a little funky. So. so we might have to do a little bit of filler that we cut out. Yeah. And wait till it comes back. Because two steady stop bars. Stop it and start it. Oh. Nope, we're back. Okay. Yeah, we're back. When that happens, usually we're frozen, but then there's still audio and it's... Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. 500 subscribers get away. So... You want to be subscribed mm -hmm. and then comment on episode 68? Yes. The last episode. Yes. So comment on episode 68, not this one. And we're back. So our internet got a little funny for a minute. So we just stopped recording before and now we're back. So as we were saying, you want to comment on episode 68. That is our giveaway episode. And right now I'm going to show you what you'll be getting. And be, be a subscriber and comment oh, yes. and on And please be a subscriber. 68. So I got this beautiful Berry Meadow Farm skein of yarn. And it is from Madeline. She is a Ramboulet. And there's her picture. Isn't that the cutest sheep? So that is 100% worsted weight. Rambouillet wool, 100 yards. 100 yards or 100 grams? 100 yards. Okay. Yeah, to 100 grams, yeah. And then this is from the Rose Field. And it is a Lester Long Wool in natural white. This is 200 yards. And look at the, you can just see the difference in the color. Really nice. I can see some very subtle stripes happening. This is also from Berry Meadow Farm. This is actually a mix of Rambouillet and Romneydale. And the Ram Rambouillet yarn will came from Stella. That adorable little girl right there. Really? I mean, come on. Look, you didn't even look at her. Look at her. Come on. She's adorable. I, I am partial and this to is alpaca and llamas versus sheep. You're talking about the cute little faces. Oh, my yeah, God. They do have sweet faces. And this is the natural gray. And just to put a pop of color in it, I've got this sassy black yarns in lemon drop. And I think a creative stitcher could find a really cool thing to do with all of this 100% natural wool. And just for fun, there it is. I'm throwing in a wrist ruler. It wears like a bracelet, and it is in this bright poppy pink. So if you just need to do a quick measure, you can take That's it right. off. 
and measure with it. Really? It's red. And it comes in its own storage tin. Which I'll put it back together. So that is what is included in the giveaway. So please comment on episode 68. So that was our giveaway announcement. What else you got going on, Chris? Um, just one tiny little thing. So yeah, I've been getting rid of, you know, it, it is the great acrylic purge of 2023. <laughs> we're up to six, uh, like, kitchen garbage bags of yarn that's over here. Over here. <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting rid of. But, you know, so I've been going through, like, all of the yarns. And there's a few I'm keeping. So not all of the acrylic is going away because I'm ridiculous. So let me show you what I'm keeping and why. Um, first, this is Wool Ease Thick and Quick from Lion Brand. And I have like several of these. But I love the mix of the stripes and the solids mm -hmm. and this red color. So if you see that picture, that's how it works up. I think that's really cute. So this, this is probably just going to be like a big scarf or something. Mm -hmm. But I can see you doing one of those plaids with that. Where this this isn't going away. Um, now these two, they're actually quite similar. So this is from Joanne. Buttercream was like their yarn brand at Joanne for mm -hmm. a while. Uh, they were trying a thing. I guess they decided it didn't work out. But I know some people don't like roving yarns. I love roving yarns. Um, so this is a 50% merino. Well, not 50% merino, but it's 50% wool and 50% acrylic. Now, I have a chunky sweater vest that I made out of Isaac Mizrahi yarn. And I've worn it, but it is heavy. Part of it is, you know, the yarn. And part of it is that I probably used too small a hook so the stitches became very tight yeah. and very dense um i have actually have a little swatch of this but i didn't bring that skein um but this is just going to be much lighter because i think i'm just going to actually recreate that vest so you know things once i discover better yarns for things i, I get remake them and i get rid of the the old one so this is probably going to be a nice chunky sweater that really does I keep them right here warm. It's like really important to me. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is another similar yarn, but this is from Barocco. And this is um, wool acrylic with viscose. And this is like a proper like thick thin yarn. And mm -hmm. I love thick thin yarns. Um, and it, I don't know if you can see, it's got little hints of pink in there. Yes. And I love that. So I have a few skeins of this and I will be hanging on to. And whether you're knitting or crocheting, thick thin yarns give you texture for free. Yeah. You can do a basic stitch and you still end up with texture. Now this yarn is interesting. It's called Linus from Barocco. It is um, acrylic, linen, nylon, and rayon. Hmm. And it's got this weird kind of sort of chain-like structure. I don't know if I can make that. Ah, yeah, there, there we go. go. But it's oh. weird, but I like it. And I, for some reason, I have a lot of this. Now, I've swatched it, and it works up almost something like a, a terry. Oh, yeah. And so I'm thinking to myself, well, if I was going to sew something out of terry fabric that was a garment, what would it be? Sweatshirt. So I think this is going to be a cute little sweatshirt. If, you know, if I have enough... I have this idea of making like a matching two-piece set with like a pair of shorts. I think that'd be really cute. But we'll see. I, I'm just talking crazy right now. Mm. But, and of course, it's purple. And I love that. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, the, it, the color yeah, it's is not showing. Really showing. Different, uh, yeah, but okay. it's really kind of like a rosy pinky purple. Yeah. Um, I would say like a light plum. Yeah. And it's, it's a bursted weight. And... It's got squish and I don't know. I feel like this will ultimately be quite comfortable to wear. So maybe I'll do something that's a slightly open stitch, but I don't know. 
But yeah, so this is another one of my acrylics that is in the stay pile. Now this is actually polyester, but look how shiny that is. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. I have like maybe seven or so skeins of this and I don't even know what's going to be, but it's this gorgeous silver metallic and I want it. It might be a nice mix with. I want the shiny. So this is staying in the stash. I say shine on, girl. Shine on. And then this last one here. I feel like y'all could rock with me on like some of these. This one, y'all not going to get it all, but that's okay. I don't even know what I it like is. I like this. <laughs> um, you know where I got this? The Knit and Crochet Show. Oh, wow. There, that, this was... 2014 maybe yeah um so the knit guild and the crochet guild used to have a show they did together oh that's nice and on the their show floor there was like this one booth we frequented because it was like they had less expensive yarn than all the other booths um, so I bought some stuff there that is utterly really I bought like this bright behind neon yarn they don't ask me what I thought I was gonna do with it but this stuff, so as you can see, it's got some sparkles in it, but it is also this gorgeous color. It is this burgundy wine color. As you can see, it's mm -hmm. similar to what I'm wearing now. Um, and I have a lot of it. I have enough of it that I could probably do like a, a duster or coat kind of something oh, like full length. That'd be a gorgeous duster coat. Um, but this isn't going anywhere. I... I don't know what I'm going to do with if it right now. If you're trying to get rid of it, Mom and I will scoop it no, up. No, right no, 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 don't even, don't look at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that will laugh. How about your eyes? All right. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I have nothing like a ball band. I don't know what, because I wound these and I don't know why I always use my ball bands when I wind yarn. And this was the yarn that I wound years ago. So I have several cakes of this, um, I don't know what it's going to be, but I love it. I feel like this could be some sort of holiday garment. Add it like all the yarns and keeping this. This one my favorite. But I love that the um, the sparkles are like, you know, monochromatic. Like it goes with um, oh yeah, the color of the yarn. Yeah. So those are so acrylic hasn't gotten like the boot entirely from my stash but i have paired way way from <laughs> six garbage bags to you know <laughs> this basically except i have more skeins of each of these yarns mm -hmm. but yeah so it's, i'm not mad at acrylic not at all um i just now that i'm using my yarn a little bit differently than i i was in the past and really focus on garments I really have to think about the the wearability mm -hmm. of the yarns, and so I'm just I'm just not wearing the the that soft what was it the Karen, Karen simply soft. soft I'm just I'm not wearing that anymore, dude. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. So that's what's staying in the stash. We're not gonna talk about what's going. It's too much. That would be a very long video. Yeah, but it, six garbage bags. Fully loaded. I gotta find it to get home. I don't know. I want someone to use it. You know what I mean? But oh, our people that we donate to will take it. Oh, okay. Because it's a lot. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like now my stash is like good working yarn. Like it's it's what I want to like anything now that I go to in my stash will mm -hmm. be something I actually want to make something with. Um, and I think that's what the stash should be. I don't, you know, I don't want to like keep yarns that I'm not really crazy about just to have volume. Exactly. So now everything in my stash is yarn that I love and would happily make a garment out of. So and I think it makes your stash more usable too, mm -hmm. because you won't have to search through so much to find, you know, whatever it is you're looking for in the moment. Yeah, there was a lot. There's, there's still, it's, some of my bins are not completely empty yet. And then for some reason, I have a few like tote bags in my room, which is a little random bits of yarn in them. 
I haven't even gotten to those yet. I think we all have those. I've got a couple of those. I don't like to talk about them. <laughs> I, don't, I think like they multiply when I'm not looking. But yeah, that, so that's that's what's been going on. I'm making a skirt and I'm organizing my yarn and trying to get my craft room into shape. So here's the question of the week. If you have a dedicated craft space, how do you keep it organized? Got any tips and tricks? Do you keep it organized? Because I know I don't. Yeah. Like, I have my yarn now, like, on a shelf where I can see it. But it's just all chucked on there randomly. I Because I know I am very, uh, I, I can be very particular about things sometimes. And I knew if I made any attempt at organizing the yarn, it would never get on the shelf. Because I would have to craft the organization system first. So I didn't do that to myself. And I'm very proud of myself. For that. <laughs> hey, I got it done. So, yeah. Yeah. Is, is your craft, let's just be honest, folks. Is your craft room organized? <laughs> and if it is, please share. Because <laughs> we can use all the tips, okay? <laughs> And I will happily like relay the tips. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's all that's going on with me these days. Yep. And I think that's it for me too. Mm -hmm. So until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. Oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> and as always, <laughs> stay stitching.